Hello everyone and welcome back to, well, my favourite game right now, Canarium. This is part 7 and uh, after uh, after catching up to Dr. Faust and going into some sort of trance and having a strange vision, I am now in the house again. Or the mansion, whatever you want to call it. And there appears to be a note by the bed where I woke up, so let's take a read, shall we? Dr. Faust's journal entry. Is this Dr. Faust's house? <laughs> okay, 1944. Having heightened my knowledge of the arcane arts, I find myself contemplating the subject of universals, whether definitions exist in the nature of things or in mere conceptions, illusory and perhaps a sheer product of human language. Our means of receiving impressions are absurdly few, and our notions of surrounding objects infinitely narrow. We see things only as we are constructed to see them, and can gain no idea of their absolute nature. So what lies beyond the woven limits of the flesh we've been trapped in, and is it really possible to pass beyond it at least once? What do we know of the world and the universe around us? For the last ten years of my rough life, I've lived with the un undulating echoes of those scorching questions that have rendered me a ghost amongst the flocks. But yesternight, I finally got some answers. During the last session, Frank and I managed to get the printer to work. And even though the results are blurry, we have the first empirical proof of what we saw out there. Alright. Okay. So... That's why I'm part of the project, right? I mean, this was this was my passion as well. Okay, that's just like a regular mirror, I think. Not <laughs> not like the ones we saw down in the caverns. All right, anything else here? There's a lantern. I don't, don't suppose I need that. I've got the torch. Loads of dream catchers, all shapes and sizes. Lots of feathers. Right. <laughs> Is that it? Can we open these? I guess that's it. Right. Let's let's leave. I guess I finally made it to my room, didn't I? <laughs> Only took going through a cavern. We need to be cautious, not to let anyone else see this grand collection. It could be extremely dangerous for both of us. Right, well, yes, I am seeing three heads in a case. <laughs> that could be dangerous for both of you, as far as the law's concerned. God, they're all like exhibits and everything. This one as well. What? On? Okay, well, let's just let's just explore everything we can. Let's have a look at exhibit number thirteen. Deliberately preserved heads from Mesopotamian marshlands. Such cultivated minds kept in permanence by getting dried under the scorching sun, with methods now lost to us. As well as the sun, they were believed to be symbols of knowledge. Right. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to include that in my journal. What about the other ones? What about 14 here? Mesopotamian again? It seems to have the same sort of, well, headgear, let's say. I'm not so sure about the nails and everything through the nose and the lip. Uh, yeah. What about this third one? Number 15. Okay. Mouth and eyes, not even stitched. But still, yeah, very well preserved. Very well preserved. Alright. I guess we were onto something in some way. Okay, we can't open that. What about this crocodile? A stuffed subadult Nile crocodile. One of the oldest creatures still living on the face of the earth. Huh, well there you go. And I guess that was sort of the offshoot from the uh, the reptilians, or the reptilians were offshoots of the crocodiles. So yeah, I think that's that's how it goes. Okay, let's let's close these up. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. What about these drawers down here? This house looks like a bit of a wreck, honestly. Ah, looks like some exhibits are missing, but um, these certainly aren't. A medicine man mask from Northwest Africa. <laughs> Scratches, anyone? And what about this one? A sacrifice ritual mask from Middle Africa. And there you go. All right. So that's, what, 3, 7, 13, 14, 15. We've got some gaps here. <laughs> we really do. Is there a drawer down here? No, just just the globe. All right. Okay. Right. Nice. Nice artwork. Very nice. Okay. You know what this is reminding me of? Quite considerably. This is darkness with... Is this Clark Field's house? No, it, it, I don't think it is. 
But yeah, Clark Field's house. I think that was his name from uh, In Pursuit of Loth Nolder. It looks very, very similar, right? If you're familiar with Darkness Within. Look at that cheeky smile from the devil up there. Right. Right, what's this? Looks like a preparation for a long trip. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. These are all the things I found in the base as well. We've got a book here. A couple of drawers. Can't use. Okay. I guess the front door? What? Ah, okay. I guess we're looking for a key. Ah, I see. So, hang on. Another exhibit? Yeah, this is number two. This relic is from Madagascar. I have two versions, but this one is extremely rare. It is called Ur Hanaldi. Nobody knows exactly what it means, but from its symbolic depiction of a dark sphere inside a light one, it is thought that it could mean the underworld. I had it brought by an old captain friend who often visits that island for trading purposes. Well, it's, it's nice to have friends like that, I suppose. I'm just going to put this back, yeah. I'm just going to put the underworld staff back. Uh, what about the other one? And then, if anything, it looks kind of worse. This is number one. This is where it starts. Oh. I don't have anything to say about this one. Okay, I guess it's pretty much the same sort of style as the other one. Another sort of underworld staff. Uh, right. Yeah, so that's number one. That was number two. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. So hang on, is the entire house, like, made into a museum? Oh, basement. Yeah, this really does remind me of In Pursuit of Loth Nolder. I need to play that game again. I really do enjoy it. I haven't played it since... Well, I, I played it, I think, after I recorded it. So maybe, like, since 2013? This is exactly the same room I've been in, in one of my visions. Right. Just not the same corridor and hallway and everything. Right, okay. So hang on. Are these the same? I think so. Yeah, we saw this. We've seen it lots of times now. And this. I don't remember this one, to be honest, but we can't translate it or anything. Nothing on the back. Okay. Time bore. Antarctica? Right. Well, the statuette's missing, but we do have something. A notepad? Oh, a calendar of 1949. The 1st, the 6th, and the 13th circled for some reason. All right. Let's just close this so I can go around. Oh, I can't. I can't step over this cauldron. Ah, oh. Open this, no. Can't even play with the skulls anymore. Never mind. <laughs> what about this side? Ah, here we go. Ah, something else to read. Okay, what do we got? Old friend. What you've told me about the shared nature of the experience the Canarian provides made me think about necromantic means of data inquiry. I am sure you'll remember what I told you about why certain corpses never decay, but rest firm and fat in their tombs for a thousand years. I believe, with some help from a certain acquaintance, I can provide you with such specimens. This would be beneficial for both of us, I believe. Eagerly awaiting your answer, H. Warren. H. Warren, alright. And that's all we're going to find in that drawer, apparently. Okay, let's put them back. Okay. What's this? Is that a face on the end of it? Yes, it is. A couple of them, actually, with a third eye. <laughs> it's like a mini version of the one that's on the floor, I think. Okay. I've lost count how many times I've seen that one. I've got to wonder if he tastes nice at this point. No? Alright. Lots of books, lots of books. But nothing to read. Up here, here we go. No? Nothing. I really do want to be thorough. This is probably really pointless. Is that a penguin? Yes, it is. Uh, a figurine of a... Oh, is this a trophy item? Yeah, a, a creature native to Antarctica. Take it. Yeah, I think it is. It is. All right, yeah. You just have to be thorough to collect a lot of these. And here we go, some more exhibits. Okay, so we got 11. Is this a drum? Looks like it. According to legend, this very djembe belonged to a learned drummer from Senegal who can speak with the dead by rhythmically beating it. Is that so? Okay, and you took it away from him? Now he's all lonely. What about... what about twelve? A native drum from the Asmat people of New Guinea. Their creation myth says Fumeripits made the first carvings of men and women. 
By beating on this drum, Vermeeropitz caused the figures to dance, bringing them to life. Now, of course, because I'm recording, I can't really confirm all of this, but I'm assuming that what we're being told is actually true. These are actually, you know, things from ancient times that people did use and maybe still use in, in some certain parts of the world. Okay, anything else to explore? I mean, let's see, we can't go around, can we? No, we can't move this notice board out of the way. So, um, yeah, I won't be able to have a comfy seat there. That's all right, that's all right. This way? Yeah. <laughs> more cabinets, more exhibits. These two drawers? Nothing. God, this is so run down. I guess all the money was spent on collecting all of these. A mask? Mask of an all-powerful moon goddess, esteemed by an eastern island tribe, now lost in time. It is from the private collection of the late, famous hermit, Klaus von Herdeth. Don't ask me how I get it. <laughs> I have my ways. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. That's all right. It was probably something kind of nefarious and illegal. But yeah, okay. We've got four and five here. Looks like more masks. Elusive mask from the submerged parts of Kogulin Islands. Kogulin Islands. Where are they? Hmm. Okay. A cryptic mask with an untraced origin. Creepy. Very creepy. Let's just put that back down, shall we? Okay. Uh, two more. Lots this of masks. This is called the Mask of the Beholder. All right. Complete with horns. I like it. We got a couple of skulls down here. Okay, which one's the exhibit? Or maybe the other one. <laughs> yes. Skulls from New Guinea that are believed to be housing protective spirits. Okay, well, I, I better leave them alone then. There you go. Uh, Alright, through here? Locked. No? Locked. This one isn't, though. <laughs> Another cabinet, of course. Okay, well, right. A Dr. Faust journal entry number two, okay. As told in some banned ancient volumes I was able to acquire, it is evident that Canarium, when properly adapted to work with the human psyche and physiology, can transcend the mind beyond the limits of time and space into a peculiar place we are yet to explore. If not for our own experiences corresponding exactly with the depictions provided in the Necronomicon and, other, and some other books of forgotten lore, I would easily declare myself a madman. Well, don't write it off quite yet, but um, conclusively, I have solid evidence printed out for me to justify the objectivity of my position. That dimension is completely devoid of light, other than some small, glowing and morphing geometrical shapes appearing and disappearing momentar momentarily around us. It also feels extremely cold, but I do believe these are just null sensations that our physical bodies attain from what is otherwise impossible to acquire without the canarium. It is not for us to see this fantastic void with a pair of corporeal eyes, and possibly we are the first explorers ever to reach the, this ancient forbidden place, but the question now weighing heavy on my mind is whether we could ever fully understand this experience with the hindrance of our own limited sensations. Hmm. Right, so, uh, is this a case of we don't need eyes where we're going? You're gonna see if we can shed your corporeal form? Okay. What's that? Discharge heads and sound transmitters? Alright. And this one? Oh, the device that I'm carrying with me, I suppose, yep. Yeah. Pretty fancy. You know what? <laughs> uh, let's just let's just back away from this. Um, oh, I don't have it with me, do I? No. But I haven't actually used it. I know I can pull it out and have a look at my watch, essentially, but nothing, nothing's actually happened with it at the moment. It's kind of weird. Right. A couple of drawers? No? What is this thing, anyway? What? Oh. No, oh! It sounded like the floor is hollow back there. Oh shit, that looks like a secret to me. Hang on. It's stuck. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's or maybe stuck. I'm being obtuse. Okay, yeah, okay, it's stuck. Um, how do we get it unstuck? Surely there's something I could fit down there and, and, and pry it up, you know? Like a knife? Anyway, let's have a look at number nine and number ten. 
Woodland Lizard Spirit Mask. Okay. And that's all we get. A serpentine ritual mask from India, which is said to have hypnotic effects on the one who deeply gazes into its eyes. Well, let's turn it around then. Yeah, much better. <laughs> Alright. And again, lots and lots of books. Oh, hang on. I need a phonograph cylinder. Oh, really? We're looking for a phonograph cylinder? Oh my god, alright. Oh, blimey. I'm kind of glad that I actually split this recording up now, because there seems to be a hell of a lot to do in this house. What do we got here? Right. Dear E.W. Ross, How can we comprehend exactly how much time has passed since the erection of the earliest ziggurats of Sumeria? What can we know about the time-worn Sphinx still standing on the Giza Plateau? They only justify the sheer ignorance of mankind by forcefully making us admit our instantaneous vibrations in the vast cosmos are but an illusion. Today I want to inform you about something that is equally as interesting as such edifices. There's something, I presume, you will have a hard time believing. I have finally acquired some information regarding the fabled cities of Rab al-Khali, which are said to be... which are said to have been built in an undreamt age of certain wonders, and rumoured to have been intentionally submerged beneath the eternally shifting sands thousands of years ago. There is even more to the story. According to a reliable source, there should be depictions or information about the locations of ancient canariums buried within those halls. Within a few weeks, you will receive a book containing the locations of those cities, and a map predating all maps known today, directly copied from the antediluvian originals. I am sure you are excited beyond imagination and eager to discuss these findings in detail, but that will have to wait a while, since I'll be away for some time visiting the oriental wonders of the old world. I'm sure you know what I mean. I think I might have an idea, yes. And that's, uh, that's H. Warren. Harley Warren, apparently. Alright. Couple of books, but they are not important. I need a phonograph cylinder. Yes, yes I do. Yeah, okay, uh... And we... <laughs> we haven't even been to the basement yet, have we? Oh, hang on. Ooh! Oh, there's a little door. Oh, what goes here? I see a little button Looks and I... Like something's missing here. It does, doesn't it? Okay. I... Well, I... <laughs> Alright. Uh, I, I don't know. I can only assume that everything that I've missed so far is in the basement, because I think this is kind of the limit of this room. Isn't it? Aside from what's down there. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah. Let's leave, I think, because uh, that's locked. So, around here to the stairway again. Yeah, and down. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, yeah, this definitely isn't Clarkfield's house. I would, uh, I would see something very different if I opened that door. Alright, <laughs> we have something else to read. I'm really getting a workout with my voice today. Lying outside the known space-time continuum, this is a dimension to which the gate is knowledge, and the key is the canarium. As we start to shed our fleshy bindings, we start to perceive more and more. If we inquire by merely knowing and thinking on any subject matter, windows to related time and space open up before our non-material selves, our minds. And what's better, we've grasped that the experiences in these sessions are shared and even improved by all of the attendees' personal knowledge. Even thinking about the possibilities that may bestow upon us in our quest for transcending the limits of our mortal bodies is about to make me crazy. But sometimes I wonder what has been keeping our sanity intact inside of this forbidden place. Behind the thick walls of pitch darkness surrounding us, there is something loo language familiar, yet I cannot discern its content. Is this some sort of language that I spouted after my session? Possibly. Maybe. Look at these things. I, uh, I guess he didn't have cabinets big enough for these. <laughs> And what is this? This isn't something special, it's just like a water tank or something, or a boiler, probably. Alright. Um, okay. Through here? Locked. Locked? Okay. So again, I guess we're looking for a key. What's uh, no, hang on, wait, no, no. Looks like something's missing here. Oh my god, there's loads of things that I haven't found yet, right. Okay. Can I do anything with you guys? No. There's no, like, tools or anything down here? I mean, I guess they could be on the floor. I, hmm. 
Where do I go now? I wonder if I can just like go back up to the bedroom and go to sleep. Maybe that's how I get out of here because that, that door's locked. The door through there is locked. Yeah, let's go up here. Trying not to knock over a candle and set fire to the place. Yeah. Can I use the bed? No, I can't. Right, there must be something I've missed. Several things I've missed, by the by the sounds of it. Things I don't want to leave alone. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Can't open these, no. Nothing under the bed or anything. Or at least I don't think so. No. Papers? No. Alright, okay, okay, alright. I think I was pretty thorough with this. There's nothing below the floorboards. Had a look at that. Nothing there. Hmm. What about down there in the corner? Plank up. Oh, hang on! Hey, hey, hey! We got something! What is that? Is It's a crowbar! Right! Right. Okay. That's going to help us with the floor, isn't it? Well, maybe all the other things, actually. I mean, this door's locked, but is it really? <laughs> no, unfortunately, it is. So this? Yes. Yeah, okay. Hang on. Okay, that's uh, shining pretty bright. Oh, that probably goes for the basement door, doesn't it? I found an ornamental metallic object. Right, a couple of books. Oh, hang on. A cylinder as well, isn't it? A phonograph cylinder, right, and it's actually in this room. That's convenient. Here we go. When using Cornarium, we are able to be seen as well as to see. For some time, I was detecting a conscious something, previously unseen by my rudimentary vestiges. Only lately, it becomes <laughs> clear to me. Now it comes into every session. It seems to materialize more and more each time. I won't, I won't attempt describing it, but only would say that it's not benevolent. From what I can get from its glowing semblance, which I believe is used as a way of communication, it can sense you only if you spend a considerable time within the sessions. I've read about it in the Cursed Necronomicon and some elusive records compiled from deep-rooted Bedouin oral literature. Thus learned that it tries reaching the corporeal vessel to dominate and execute the wanderers of the beyond, such as ourselves. But again, against all warnings, I was a fool to believe that I can stop it with just simple signs and incantations. As a resort, we ended up lighting up the place with myriads of candles as well as electrical lamps, but still shiver with fear with every noise our rundown enclave is causing, isolated from ancient darkness of the night. Well, you probably should be shivering with fear, honestly. I mean, this is some pretty heavy shit. This is extremely heavy shit, actually. Right, yeah, there's still something missing. Presumably when something has been added there, I mean, this would work. Is there an, Are there any other levers? I think it's actually just that one, right. Okay, yeah, I'm still missing things. I just... I have no idea where the hell they could be. Um, right, well, that, let's try that basement door. I'm pretty sure that's where that little thing goes. So, through here. Yep. Yep, that's it. Alright, perfect. Let's take a look, shall we? Okay. Oh, what are these? Are they all buttons? And we can't use them twice. Some sort of combination of three. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Uh, well. Quite a few possibilities, I suppose. Let's see. <laughs> Circular things? No? Okay. We have an eye. We have a claw. Scales of justice. Um, the, s the sun and the moon. Is that an eclipse? 
Hold on. <laughs> oh god, I did it! I was honestly about to say thank you very much for watching this part of Canarium. If you've got any hints and tips of what I should do with this puzzle, please let me know in the comments down below. But I fluked it. Um, close it. Was that was that right? Was was I right? I don't really know how I worked that out, but yeah, it was the sun, the moon, and two circles. I figured the sun and the moon as an eclipse. Maybe that's it? If that's it, it kind of makes sense, but still kind of a lucky guess. Right. Woo! All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, what do we got here? Hang on. Oh, is that another, that's another phonograph cylinder, I think. Yes, it is. Okay, I'll be going upstairs in a moment. That's all we got in there, a couple of uh, paintbrushes. Maybe this is Clarkfield's house. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let's, let's stay on this. Oh, let's stay on this level. What we got? Nothing in there. Oh, oh, look at this. Hello. Oh, this is another trophy item, I think. It is a highly ornamental wooden mask that clearly depicts a cephalopod. No, cephalopod, not cephalopod. Cephalopod creature. Just looking at it gives me the shivers. There you go. That is added to my collection. All right, same thing over here on these on these caskets. Oh, that's another one, isn't it? Yeah, let's listen. In archaic myths, lurking in shunned and forbidden volumes, I've been able to trace some parts, speaking about a device of non-terrestrial origin that is capable of much more than I could ever imagine. Ancient cornariums, I will call them. Machines which are said to have been built long before mankind ever tread on this planet. The very source of the design I've used to make my own version of the machine. All right. And, and where is this? Probably behind one of the locked doors. Okay. Are we going down? I think I want to go down. In fact, I know I want to go down. What's that? A little window up there? A little basement window? I guess so. Yep, all right. And there's nothing down here or anything. No, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad I got through that door. That's Blood mental. Doesn't give out under my weight. Me too, believe me. Blimey. Yeah, maybe I can find the item for the pedestal down here. Come on, rungs. Hold up. Looks like pretty strong wood, really. It is creaking, though. How deep are we going? <laughs> Come on. Oh, bloody hell. Metal Gear Solid, anyone? Oh, no. Is there a way back up? Oh, there is a way back up. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, there it is. There's the machine. Ah, okay. Oh, and bones and coffins and stuff. And yeah, there was actually a skeleton in that coffin in the basement. That's a bit worrying, really. Anything in there? No? All right. All right, let's see. Through here. It's stuck. Really? Okay. And there's no way to change that? I guess not. All right. Oh, God. Oh, it's another body. Get out of my head. <laughs> I don't want this. Ah, oh, Christ. Okay. I remember this place. And what we achieved here. Violating the laws of nature with the help of those dead bodies brought here secretly from only God knows where. Forcing them to cooperate by the means of the cursed necromancy. And dreaming their dreams in those profane sessions to learn forbidden knowledge. Now I can distinctly see how pure madness once roamed here within our own shoes. Well, I suppose that explains the skulls and the bodies upstairs and everything. Am I just doing the same thing again? Oh yeah, okay, skip that. <laughs> okay. Right, uh, yeah, I think I see something on the shelf. Right. Yes, it is a key! It is a key, right. To which door, though? It's got to be a door. Uh... Right, so hang on. Oh, this one? Oh, okay, hang on. Uh, did... Ah, oh, that was it. It was a one-use thing. All right, fair enough. Give me a sec. Is there anything around here? 
Still looking for all sorts. Really, a speaker. There's another phonograph there. I need a phonograph cylinder. And this would be the the printer. Oh yeah, look at this. Elder sign. Uh, yeah, not far off. What does that say? Looks like the Batman symbol at the bottom, actually. <laughs> Shape resembles an elder thing. It was a blob, a monstrosity of enormous size. Okay. Oh, I don't want to have a look at that again. Uh, what's this? Hello! What? Whoa, 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 what is this? A circular metallic object. Right, that might be for uh, for upstairs. I'm not sure. And I think another phonograph cylinder, right. It is said that ancient conariums have the ability to transfer one's mind outside through the endless vacuum into other receiving conariums. Just think about the possibility of shedding off the earthbound mortal coil to reach to the stars and yonder as a free agent to see the grand scheme above and beyond the third dimension. Being able to contemplate vistas and sense things you could never ever dream of with the help of the bodily sensations. Finally, we shall overleap time, space, and dimensions, and without bodily motion, peer to the bottom of creation. Yes, I know how this sounds to you. <laughs> this is incomprehensible, even for someone like me who spent almost a lifetime on such arcane topics. He has some high hopes, let's put it that way. It is just sad to see. The knowledge has been out there all the time, forevermore. And we failed to read between the lines. Okay. Right. So let's see. Um, yeah, that, that other thing I picked up. Uh, let me just go back to it. Uh, this thing here, yes. Ah, five-pointed design on one side, on the other, and on the other side there's a complex inscription that looks like a star map. Maybe this doesn't go in that thing upstairs? I'm not entirely sure. It's got to go somewhere though, right? And that's everything in that box. There's nothing else on the shelf. No, what about this room? And this one isn't, like, unstuck or anything, right? It's no, okay. Not. Okay. What's that? It... Whoa. Why is it so dark? Oh, hang on. Uh, yes? What happened? Oh, hello. Wait, what? 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 What the fuck? I knew it. All those years. <laughs> extensive no. Have not been in vain. Oh, my inventory. Here it is. Fuck. Lying dormant and standing still beneath the eternally shifting sands of Rubal Kali. Right. Who knows how many millennia? Right, we've read about this, so yeah, he was right. So uh, we're taking the position of Dr. Faust now. I think this is a, some sort of memory, I, get, I guess. So, I don't have any items right now, and I don't have it. Well, I, I, do, I do see a flashlight, but yeah, fuck. Oh, I need to get back to that house. I wanted to know what that five-point design thing did. Anyway, we've got a torch, we have an axe. Binoculars map. Alright, we've got a journal. I did see something here. Oh, I see. I've noted down the symbols. These symbols here? Uh, maybe. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. A circular stone tablet with mostly illegible symbols on it. However, one symbol, which appears to be the shape of the Canis Major constellation, seems to be repeated several times. I've marked it down in my notebook. Okay. Yeah, that's our only drawing. Um, alright. There you go, then. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I suppose what we should probably do is equip this, right? Yeah. Are we going up there? Can we go up here? We can try, but we can fail. Never mind. It's got to be the other way then, hasn't it? Okay. So, wait, this is taking us back to how we discovered this in the first place? That's kind of neat. There's so much about this game that I like. Really? Oh, look at this. We're definitely in the right place. <laughs> All right. Again, it's held up so well. 
Okay, hang on. What's this? The hallway seems like it was intentionally blocked with this ornate wall. And there are some primal writings inscribed on it. Hmm. As far as I can tell, the text talks about a guardian. A formless, glistening, and reflectively iridescent black protoplasm. Able to mark and reflect all forms and organs. That is rather a descriptive language. Right. I am thinking though, do I get- oh god, I do get this out? Oh no, really? Oh, I- Well, I, I guess we gotta get through- oh man, I feel guilty now. Before it was just rocks, now there's like writings and drawings and stuff, inscriptions, engravings. Oh well. <laughs> I'm just going axe happy again. I'll start it till I'll finish. <laughs> I love how I didn't even like, draw that or anything really. That's crazy. Okay. What else can I chop up? Is that a coffin? Go on, it's wood. This is what it's for. Oh, mummified bodies as well. Right. Goodness gracious me. I wonder if these mummified bodies were the ones who originally built this place. Well, I'm I'm going to assume so. Around that sort of time period anyway, before it was hidden from the world. I wonder if these mummified bodies were oh, okay. the ones who originally built this place. But maybe these things built this place. I wonder if these mummified nah, right. bodies I think I get were the, idea. the ones who originally <laughs> built this place. Okay. Can I destroy this as well? Hang on, what's that up there? Oh, I thought that might have been a symbol. No, nope, not destroying that one. Okay. Right, right. What have we got here? Hello. They're pointing to it and everything. <laughs> okay. What's this? Okay, sure. Right. Okay. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, hang on! Something, something went right then. Oh, can I not spin it the other way? Oh, okay, so we can spin all of these, can we? Certainly seems like it. Alright. So we got this... This red one. That might resemble the sort of secret that we saw before in the previous video. I think the lights have to be next to other ones for them to light up. So yeah, just because one of them is connected to that one or that one, they're all lit up. And this one here? Well, that kind of works. And there's only one on this one. Right, okay, I don't know, what the fuck. Well, you know what? The only thing that I've got... ...is this. Can I replicate that? Possibly. It, it's in a circle. Or an oval. I mean, it kind of fits. You don't have offerings of hints and tips, do you? Alright, let's try this. And, um... Well, let me just back away. I, let's try from the outside in, maybe. Okay, so... So there's two in this one, and they should be, like, there. Alright. And there's one in this one. Let me just have a look at this drawing again. Well, right now it's kind of above it, but maybe it needs to be to the left of it, so we need to spin it round a couple of times, maybe? More than a couple of times. No. Like that? Some, something like that, and then there was another one. Or maybe another two above that, so... Is that right? No. So we've got two in the middle, and then three. This is basically like creating a T. Can we do that? Um... If that was... Oh yeah, actually. And then this spins round. Yeah? A couple more times? Yeah. Yes! Yes! Okay! Uh, right. Leave, I think. What's going on? Whoa. Alright. Oh, you do have an offering of something. What is that? A plunger? Well. Oh. Alright, give me a sec, give me a sec. What is that? It is. Well, it's, uh, I assume it's not a trophy item. It's a metallic object. Very specific. Oh, it's coming out of his head. It's third eye. Of course. Of course. Right. 
Uh. All right. Oh blimey. So uh, hang on. Can we have a look at this? Yeah, half rusted metallic object. Okay, it looks like a, a valve wheel, possibly. It looks like it needs to be stuck into something. Something back here, maybe? <laughs> we got the uh, coiled up snakes holding the ceilings up again, it looks like. Oh, wow. Wait, this is the... this is the Earth? That's just... Well, this is fucking ages ago! Millions of years ago! Right, hang on, hang on. We do have something here. It's not a button. But this is where we put this. I see. Okay. Whoop. Alright. Okay. What? Oh, hang on. Oh, right! Ah! Always pointing to all the areas? How the fuck? I finally found it. This mural is depicting the continents in the middle... Hmm. Jurassic era, I believe. <laughs> this is marvelous, as well as overwhelming. The light from the device is obviously showing the locations of the ancient conariums. Yes. How, how can you follow that, though? It definitely is so, for I've known two of these places from the detailed petroglyphs in the secret halls beneath the Khafre's pyramid. Okay. But they all had gone now. Well, I'm not surprised. Even it's been millions ruins. of years had been crumbled under the waves of human cruelty and the merciless time. But this lowermost landmass is what we call Antarctica today. Oh. It is most probable that the structure that holds the conarium is mostly enduring still today. Virtually untouched. Well, yeah. Well, it, pretty much entirely untouched for years and years and years, so yeah. So that's why we were there. That's why we were focusing on that one specifically. Because all the other ones have been destroyed. But look at these beams of light. I mean, they're not exactly precise. I mean, Christ, that could be anywhere on that little island. And who knows where that fucking island is today. That's, oh, that's just a, that's another kettle of fish. Cool, though, cool. Okay. Right, so... That's been, like, included in the journal and shit, maybe, I guess. Let's hope. <laughs> Do I want to draw this or note this down or something? This is what he was talking about in the house, wasn't it? Yeah, when he was writing to his friend. Okay, oh, are we just going? I, I mean, this is it, right? This is what we came for? Right, yeah. Let's get back to the rope, I think. Shall I...? Oh, I guess I'll just... <laughs> I'll just leave that. Oh. Oh, shit. <sighs> time to leave. Definitely time to leave. Better leave this place immediately. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, right. This way. Come on, don't stop every time it shakes. Oh! Hello! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. What? Oh, is that the Guardian? That iridescent black form that, like, mocks organs and shit? Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Well, that's convenient. I love this game. Back in the house? No. No, oh no, no. Oh no. Only one way to go. Wait. Wait, the, my quarters again? It. Yeah, we're back on the base again. <laughs> All right. Open. Oh! Oh, we can't go back? Oh, fair enough. Alright. Wait, do I... I don't have anything. Not even a flashlight. Ah, oh, did I miss my chance to use that thing in the house? I think I did. It's stuck. Right. Uh, it's stuck. Do oh, hang on. What about Frank Gilman? Oh, it's open! Alright, here's my room. What about Dr. Faust's? No, open. okay. That's fine, that's fine. Interesting design. It's another mirror, isn't it? Yes. Whoa. My eyes. What happened to me? This is the price we must pay for our transgressions. 
The price to be paid for breaking away from the limits of mortal flesh and delving into arcana of consciousness that few have trod. Ah, what the hell is going on? You are naive for suppressing our truest aspirations. Such earthly fear of improbability detached you from our absolute purpose. Is that right? Fuck off. <laughs> definitely lost my mind. Yes, but no, I think there's a hint of truth as to what you were just saying to yourself. If that was, in fact, you. And got more of this slimy shit. Right. Back to the house? No. No, this is not the house. Where is this? Uh, 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 Okay. Okay. I think this is where I'm going to end this part of Canarium, everybody. I will explore whatever the fuck this is next time in part 8. See you then. Holy hell. Look at that cheeky smile from the devil up there. I've lost count how many times I've seen that one. I've got to wonder if he tastes nice at this point. What is this thing, anyway? What? Oh. Hmm. Oh! Um... The, s the sun and the moon... Is that an eclipse? Hold on. <laughs> oh god, I did it! I was honestly about to say thank you very much for watching this part of Canarium. If you've got any hints and tips of what I should do with this puzzle, please let me know in the comments down below. But, I fluked it. What happened? Oh, hello. Oh no, really? Oh, I... Well, I, I guess we gotta get through Oh man, I feel guilty now. Before it was just rocks, now there's like writings and drawings and stuff, inscriptions, engravings. Oh well. <laughs> I'm just going axe happy again. Yeah? A couple more times? Yeah. Yes! Yes! Better leave this place immediately. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, right. This way. Come on, don't stop every time it shakes. Oh! Hello! Fuck off. <laughs> Definitely lost.